welcome back to my channel and to another vlog my brows are looking so dark today because I had them microbladed or I had my microblading touched up over the weekend I do my brows with Nez Hassan and she is so incredible she's also just a really good friend of mine and she was here over the weekend so we got to hang out and just have like good girl time together and she did my brows as well and they always look really intense for the first few days after you do microblading but then they do fade so that's what's going on with my brows in case you guys were wondering and I have no makeup on today because we are gonna go get a facial together I'm doing a new facial today it's called the jet peel facial and I'm so so excited and I'm taking you guys to a new place today it's called self premium lounge and they offer these jet peel facials I had one before and it's so so cool so I definitely wanted to show you guys what it looks like because it's kind of a funny experience and they do offer jet peel facials all over the world so you don't have to go to this particular spa if you're not in you know the Munich area but it's basically this powerful jet stream of air mixed with water and different minerals and it blows on your skin so your skin kind of like goes in you guys are gonna see when I'm there but it really helps to cleanse the skin to exfoliate to increase circulation but at the same time it also infuses the skin with vitamins and different nutrients and hyaluronic acid so it really plumps the skin and because it's this powerful like jet of air and water it allows the ingredients to penetrate I think it's up to five millimeters below the surface of the skin so it really like gets it in there so I'm really really excited I'm gonna show you guys the whole facial in detail so you guys can see what it looks like this is not sponsored by jet peel or anything of that kind but I'm just a skin enthusiast and I love finding different treatments and things that work for me and maybe they could work for you guys as well so I'm pretty much ready to go I'm gonna show you guys my quick little outfit it's a very casual and very cold and kind of rainy day so I'm just keeping it very comfy casual so this is my outfit today I actually really really love this long coat it's from a brand called edited but I got this I think like two years ago or so and it is reversible so you can wear it beige or gray um, which is the color on the inside of course and I've got this gray cashmere turtleneck on underneath which is really nice and cozy and then just some black skinny jeans with my Zara boots One more time 
break you <laughs> don't see what's yours for the taking tonight It is the next day. When I got home yesterday, it was already dark outside, so I thought I would just show you guys my skin this morning, and it is looking so good. I feel like it's just so plump, like from the inside out. It has like a really nice bounce to it, and that's definitely that jet peel, like pushing all of those ingredients deep down into the skin. It also has a nice glow to it, so I'm super, super happy with the results. We also did a little bit of a hydrofacial as well, which you guys probably know that I love. It literally takes water and like forces it onto your skin and then sucks everything out. It's like a little vacuum cleaner. It's amazing. I'm now getting ready for the day. I've got my big big green juice this morning today I put celery kale uh, Lemon ginger and apple if you guys want to see how I make this I did show it in my latest what I ate today I will have that linked below in case you didn't see that mm. It does the body real real good and your skin. Today I'm meeting a friend for lunch, so I'm just gonna do a very quick and natural glam. I am feeling really good about my skin, so I'm not gonna wear a foundation. I'm gonna take this CC Serum from By Terry and just take about like a pump or a pump and a half and just press that onto my skin. Then I'm going to take this concealer from Too Faced called the Born This Way Multi Sculpting. So Mo and I are super, super excited because we are going to be going to Los Angeles in two weeks. I'm literally so over the moon about it because I love LA. I feel like I was born to live there. It is truly one of my favorite cities ever. We're going to be there for just over a week. So it's gonna be really really nice and we're already planning like our itinerary so that we can really see and do as much as possible while we're there. If you guys have any suggestions for when we're there on maybe your favorite restaurants or places, definitely let me know below in the comments. It's been a while since I was there last, so I'm sure things have changed, especially like healthy food places, juice places. I would also love to get a few more crystals. So if you guys know any good crystal shops, let me know that too. This is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Just using that to set the concealer. This is my Too Faced Chocolate Silly Bronzer. We are so, so ready for some sunshine and to just spend some time together. And it will be Mo's first time in Los Angeles as well. So I'm also just really excited to see what he's gonna think about it. I'm pretty sure he's going to love it as well because we tend to pretty much like the same thing when it comes to lifestyle and healthy food and the sun. So I really hope that he's going to love it as well. And if he does, I think that's a pretty, you know, sure sign that we will one day end up living there. There's always good and bad things about a city, but I think for me, Los Angeles is just, it has so many of the things that I love about just like, you know, the quality of life in the sense of like food and wellness and just overall weather. So we are super, super excited. And of course, I will be taking you guys along. And for blush, I'm gonna take Melba. Love this color so, so much. So put some on my lids. And for highlight, this is the Jouer in Skinny Dip. All of these products that I'm using are featured in my best of 2018 for makeup or for beauty. They are all so, so pretty and they look very natural on the skin. Just gonna set that in place with a little bit of facial mist. Mm. This is the Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator. And I'm just gonna curl my lashes. And lastly, some mascara. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. And for lips, I'm taking my Boldly Bare Lip Liner from MAC. So that is my really quick, very natural, kind of everyday, probably under 10 minutes makeup. <laughs> 
finished. I'm now going to finish off the rest of my juice, make myself some breakfast, do some work, and then we are going to head out together for lunch with my friends. So I'm ready to head out for lunch, and this is my outfit today. I feel like um, a little penguin, but I am warm, and that's the most important. So I'm wearing uh, blue jeans with a cashmere sweater and a little black um, cami underneath. This teddy coat, very much inspired by Max Mara, but not the real thing, maybe next year. And my bag is from Chanel, as are my boots. Whenever I have my hair like inside of my jacket like this and the front pieces stick out, I feel like this is how I would look if I had, you know, like a shorter cut. I do sometimes think about it because I think it looks really chic and very like effortless and cool, but then I'm not sure if I wanna, you know, commit myself to having short hair for such a long time. But it is fun to imagine what it would kind of look like. But anyway, let's get going. So this is, uh, what is it called? Ma veggie masala bowl with some rice underneath and some avocado toast and my beautiful midi It's not sharing. <laughs> We've got elbow smash as well. I'm so interested to see whether or not you like the sesame. The ses tahini as I said. So, so literally, it's like elbow smash, smash with a twist. Mm -hmm. Good? Hello guys, we are in my bedroom. I've just opened up a package from ASOS and also from Zara. These are some of the things I'm gonna take with me to our Los Angeles trip. I also went on to Revolve and I picked out some really cute things from there as well. Once that comes, I'm gonna sit down and film a proper haul for you guys and try everything on. These things are so, so cute. This top, for example, is from Misguided and it's like this body in this knit kind of material. It has a really cute cutout on the chest. I I also love this from Zara. It's a skirt, so it's shorts, but then it has this like little flap on top, so it kind of looks like a skirt, but it's not. So you won't be flashing anyone in these. I really loved the print. It looks very Chanel-esque, kind of like a Chanel tweed, but it's not actually tweed. And then this blouse as well is so, so beautiful. It was actually really nice to try on these clothes earlier today when I got the packages and just get excited again about the summer, or it's not summer in Los Angeles, but it's definitely a lot warmer than it is here. Today is the first day that the sun has kind of been like peeking through the clouds and I don't even remember the last day that we had a full-on sunny day. Forget about warm, like warm is out of the question of course, but just feeling sun on your skin and just like looking outside and being able to see a blue sky. I honestly don't even remember the last time that I saw the sky. It's so, so sad. And it does affect my mood and my happiness and like how good I'm feeling throughout the day. So needless to say, I'm really, really looking forward to our trip and just making the most out of it. When I get there, I'm just gonna stand like this in the sunshine and just like soak up all of my vitamin D that I'm definitely lacking at the moment. I should probably take a supplement for that. I just need like real sun on my skin. I was at the grocery store earlier and I saw that they had this. It looked really interesting. It is cream cheese but it's made with cashews so it's totally vegan, totally plant-based. I usually don't buy things like this but I think it is nice you know from time to time to just you know try something a little bit different. So I thought I would try this with you guys and it is flavored with some I think that's green onion. I'm gonna make myself a little like veggie sandwich so I'm gonna first toast some bread. This is the bread that I got. It's like a whole wheat kind of healthier version of a regular bread. When I was little, I used to be such a fan of Philadelphia cream cheese. That was like my thing. <laughs> I used to take Philadelphia and put it on toast and then put jam on top, like a strawberry jam. Oh my goodness, those were the days. <laughs> Not the very healthy days. Something that's nice about cutting out dairy is that you can always find alternatives. Like of course, you know, the better thing to do is just to eat real food, which you guys know that I prefer doing. But if you are ever in the mood, you know, for something more traditional, there's always alternatives, you know, with milks, with yogurts, even with ice creams. So I've just put some sliced cucumber on top. Pink Himalayan sea salt and some fresh 
fresh black pepper and a little bit of chia seeds as well over and done with you what's so certain how good does that look yummy let's give it a taste mm, that is so good Speaking of food, I also picked up these spirulina supplements that I've been wanting to get for a really long time. I used to take spirulina pretty regularly and then I ran out and I just didn't get any more. But these look really good. I got these on Amazon. Spirulina is really rich in calcium, iron, uh, B vitamins. It doesn't taste very good, so that's why I like to get the capsule form. I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is what they look like. It kind of smells like fish food, but they are really, really good for you. I know that some people like to take them in um, like the powdered version and add them to smoothies and stuff but I think capsule is good because you get the benefits and you don't really taste it thank you guys so much for watching this vlog I really hope that you enjoyed it I will leave as many links to as many of the different things that I mentioned in this video down below in the description box and yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you're all having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next one Mwah. bye guys Peace.